This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we're going to install a vinyl window in a piece of canvas. As you can see, this window has been installed in a boat enclosure. You would use this same procedure to install a window in a bimini or even a dodger. Anywhere there's a large window that needs to be installed in canvas, this is the procedure to use. You would not want to cut out the canvas material until you have the outside perimeter of the vinyl sewn to the canvas. Then you'd cut out the material, then finish up the edges. In this video, we'll show you how it's done. We're using the soapstone pencil to mark on the umbrella canvas where the window will be installed. That soapstone pencil is great because you can apply marks and they easily come up with water. If you'd like a curve, make sure it's a gradual curve because we will be installing binding. Binding likes gradual curves but not really sharp curves. If you have a 90 degree angle, you'll need to cut the binding. You'll see that later on in the video. Brian has chosen to use the Regalite 20 gauge window material here. It's nice and clear, great stuff. He's using the yellow pencil here that has a grease substance that marks clear vinyl window material well. Then, as with any vinyl window material, just cut it out with scissors. Sayerite offers many types of great vinyl window materials. Be sure to check them out at the Sayerite website. We'll now cut a 1 inch bias binding for each one of the edges of the window material. Cut it large, it's never a good idea to cut it short. Here you can see the uh, binding is actually taking some shape, so we're going to try to apply that shape to the curved edge uh, so that it lays kind of naturally there. Not always will your binding do that, but this piece is curved that direction, so Brian's going to put it on that uh, top edge of the window material. Turn the bias binding upside down, peel off that masking tape that was there, and now we'll stick the double-sided tape down to the bottom side of the bias binding. You'll notice that he's sticking it on the outside edge of the bias binding. He's not sticking it in the middle. Now that's all planned. Don't stick it all the way to the edge so the tape uh, is too close to the edge. You want it about a sixteenth inch away from the edge at least, but don't put it in the middle. Then we're going to peel off the transfer paper, revealing the glue, and then watch as he uh, bastes this on. The tape goes on the inside of the window, not the outside. Leave the binding long by approximately an inch at the ends. We've matched up the bias binding with the edge of the clear window material. And here's what it looks like on the underside. That will be covered as well in a later step. Now peel off the transferred paper to the longer one. This uh, binding has a curve, but because it's a bias binding, it goes around curves nicely. Remember, the double-sided tape is towards the inside of the window. Here, as we get to the curve, we wanted to show this part because there really are hardly any wrinkles. If your curve was rather sharp, you may have a few wrinkles. And when you have a 90 degree turn or 90 degree corner, simply cut another piece of binding and lay it right over the top. We'll be cutting the excess binding off in a later step. Now turn the window over and we'll apply the double-sided uh, basting tape or seam stick uh, to this side of the window. Notice we're applying it right on top of that basting tape that we used to put the bias binding down. Do that around the entire perimeter. Here at the curve, you may get a few bubbles in the double-sided tape as you take the uh, tape around the curve. That's no problem at all. Peel off the transfer tape, revealing the glue on all of the edges or sides of your window. Before basting the window to the canvas, take some scissors and put a little cut in the middle of your canvas. That way you can easily insert scissors to cut out the uh, canvas once the window is installed. By installing a window like this, you'll be assured that the window takes the same shape as the canvas. If you were to cut out the canvas prior to installing the vinyl, you would find it very difficult to get out all the wrinkles, and it would not be the same shape. So, if you have a canvas piece that needs a window, this is the appropriate way to do it. You'll notice that Brian has been careful to make sure that it's laying flat and that it's stuck down well onto the canvas. 
We're going to take this over to the big and tall sewing machine and we're going to use the Helios PTFE Lifetime Guaranteed Thread. This thread does not rot and it's chemical resistant. Helios thread is a lot like Tanara thread except for Helios sews a little bit easier. You can also sew this kind of application on with a Serite Ultra Feed or a good heavy duty sewing machine. Uh, sometimes even a home sewing machine can be used. You'll notice there at the beginning you reverse to lock his stitch in place. The first stitch you want to be towards the outside of the binding, not the inside. When you come to corners, you'll notice that he'll bury his needle, he'll lift his foot, he'll pivot on the needle, and make his turn with the foot up, and then lower the foot and continue sewing. If you choose not to use a Helios or Tanara thread, a polyester thread will work fine. It just won't last as long in the sun. This stitch should be approximately an eighth inch away from the edge of the binding. And the slower you go, the nicer and straighter your stitch will be. When you get to a 90 degree turns, just simply bury the needle, lift the foot, pivot on the needle that's buried, and then lower the foot and continue sewing as we showed earlier in the video. Do that around the entire perimeter, remembering to reverse at the beginning as we did and also here at the end. All right, now we're done. We will not put that uh, second stitch in yet. We're going to turn the canvas over. This is actually the outside surface. And we're going to put marks on the canvas uh, just to gauge where the uh, bias binding will be placed on this side as well. We used an opposite color bias binding. Obviously, if you choose to use the same color, it'll blend in a little bit nicer with the canvas. But Brian has chosen to use the sky blue umbrella with a navy blue umbrella as an offsetting color. Now he's going to use that uh, slice in the center of our fabric to start cutting. You'll notice that he's cutting approximately a half inch away from that mark that he just placed on the canvas as a guide. You do not need to be exceptionally accurate here because this edge will be folded under. It will be hidden. But you need to cut away enough material that you can make a single hem. If you cut too much material away and can't make a single hem, then your raw edge will be exposed. At the 90 degree corners, you'll notice he just takes a 90 degree there. We will, we will be cutting miter cuts at each one of the corners. Gradual curves should just be followed as uh, the uh, uh, folding will go nicely there. Now here at the corner where it's 90 degree, you notice he cuts a miter in and that miter should stop right where the binding is. So he's looking under there to make sure that it's right on top of that binding and he'll make a miter at each one of these uh, corners here. The double-sided tape on the inside is kind of holding this fabric and you'll see why we did that. It's a smart idea. Once it's all the materials cut out and the miters are made, we'll create a single hem here. We're gonna peel up the uh, uh, Sumbrella canvas and create that single hem and that double-sided tape that we installed to the uh, window material will hold the hem in place so when we take it over to the sewing machine, everything stays exactly where it needs to be. Here Brian's determined that there's a little bit too much fabric so he's going to cut some of that out. We just need enough fabric to fold over so that our fold is even with the bias binding on the opposite side. You'll notice now that Brian is peeling the umbrella canvas away from the vinyl window material or I should say away from the double-sided tape that he based it on earlier. He creates a single hem so the fold is directly in line with the binding on the opposite side of the window. Take your time here. It's better to have uh, an accurate fold than one that is fairly sloppy. You can see now the major advantage of um, placing that double-sided tape on the vinyl window material here because it definitely helps to hold that uh, hem in place. Before we move on, we want to show working the uh, corners where the miters have been cut. Same process. Creates a nice corner with those miters. Looks good. All right, do that around the entire perimeter and then you're ready to sew the last stitch. All right, we just wanna show a little bit of the curve here and then we'll move on and we'll get ready to sew our last stitch. We'll take it back over to the Sayerite Big and Tall Sewing Machine and sew our last stitch uh, very close to that fold that we just created, or hem, 
and we reverse the beginning and the end. Um, go slowly here as well to try to keep the stitches nice and even. And at the corners, bury your needle, uh, lift your foot. Oh, you notice here he's using the reverse lever to get the needle in the exact spot that he wants it. That's typically how you do it at corners where you want the needle to land at a specific spot. You use the reverse lever to reposition the needle uh, and turn the balance wheel by hand so that needle goes exactly where you want it to go. When you're done sewing, simply cut off the excess binding that sticks out from each one of the corners using a hot knife or you can also use scissors. If you use a hot knife, be very careful not to cut the canvas. You'll be very upset at yourself if you do. That double-sided tape you see can easily be peeled up. We'll not do that in the video, but uh, if you have double-sided tape, just peel it up. Here we're using scissors. There's not much unraveling that happens, so scissors are an acceptable way to cut the excess. This is the inside of the enclosure, where we're trimming off the binding. So this is the appropriate way to install a window in a large piece of canvas. Be sure to order all your supplies from Sailrite. For more free videos like this, check out Sailrite's website or subscribe to the Sailrite YouTube channel today. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.